Hi teachers, so excited to be working with you this morning. We're gonna do a two minute tutorial on Google Jamboard. So let's go ahead and jump over to it. This is Google Jamboard right here. It's jamboard.google.com. And if you don't know what Jamboard is, it's a quick system for doing digital whiteboards. It's so much fun to do prototyping, building things with your students and having a lot of students work together on a, as, as a group or as a whole class. Um, I find it super simple to use uh, as comparison to like um, Google Slides or even a Google Doc and it allows for quick prototyping. So let's go ahead and jump in. We're gonna go, go over to this little plus sign right here in the bottom right. And it's gonna give us a brand new jam. There's only two bars that you need to be really aware of. Up here at the top, here is your kind of zoom, your undo redo. We have our set background. You can set a like line paper, graph paper, whatever it might be, or you can upload your own image and have that be your background as well. So like for instance, if you want students to do um, organizational charts or maybe story, um, like linear plotting, those sorts of things, there's lots of things that you can do with this. So uploading your own background is very, very cool. You can also clear the frame and you're good to go. Along the top, you also have your back and forth between different jams. You can have, I believe, up to, I think it's 20 frames and 30 students working together on the same one. And you do have a little drop down where you can jump in between and add a new frame in between stuff as well. Then you have your present, you have your more actions, so you can rename, download as a PDF, save the frame as an image, remove, uh, make a copy, all that jazz. And then at the very bottom, because you're gonna be, probably be working with multiple students, you can also have version history. So you can go back and see who's added specific things at specific times. We have our share button and then open as a Jamboard. Um, this is an actual Jamboard computer, um, an interactive whiteboard, but I would recommend that you just go ahead and keep it on this. The other toolbar that you need to be aware of is right here along the left-hand side. We have our pen tool, but if you double click, you also have a marker, a highlighter, and a brush, and then six colors. We have our eraser, our selector, our sticky note, which comes in a variety of colors as well. We have our add image, which also supports GIFs or GIFs, however you want to call it. We have our drawing to or our shape tool and then our text tool and then a laser pointer for presentations. So it just disappears after a second. One of the big things that you want to be aware of when you do this is go ahead and hit share. You can share this out with your students. Just make sure that it's open for your district or your LEA, or you can do anyone with the link. Make sure that if you want to have them edit, switch it to editor. But this also works if you have it set to this, which is your, your school and then your viewer. You can also do a force copy link. So we're just gonna go up to the top here on the URL bar and change that from viewer to copy. And that creates a force copy of that jam so every student gets their own copy. All right, I went a little bit over, but that is Jamboard in a box. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out at winners at uen.org or reach out to anybody on GG Leadership. All right, thanks so much.